Ethiopia, who is known as the birthplace of coffee. Uh, is this true or is it a legend? Of course it's true. Uh, in the 9th century, that's uh, when coffee was discovered in Ethiopia, or the coffee plant. And it was discovered by a goat herder named Kalbi in the region of Kaffa, which is actually the origin of the name coffee. So it's now called mm -hmm. coffee, but it dates back from the name Kaffa. And while he was out with his goats and herding them, he noticed that some of the goats in his flock were quite energized and very excited and making a lot of loud noises, which they normally wouldn't do. So he was very perplexed by this and was observing them and noticed that a lot of these goats were going back to a particular tree or group of trees in the area. And he noticed that they were all eating this very small red berry, which he had never seen before. So, fascinated by this, he took the berry back home and told his wife what he had discovered that day. Which was, of course, at that time something very interesting because there was no such thing as coffee that was consumed or a berry or plant that could give you this special energy. Uh, so, Tema, second question. Can you tell us what's uh, so important uh, about coffee in uh, Ethiopian life and in Ethiopian houses? Oh, well, coffee is part of daily life in Ethiopia, it is the single most, um, I would say, consumed hot beverage in Ethiopia. It's something that if you visit someone's home, you're always offered coffee and it's oftentimes during the festive season, if it's a religious holiday or New Year holiday or even a special occasion like, a, I don't know, a birthday or things. There's always a special coffee ceremony, which is very unique, and it's something you don't really see in other parts of the world. And the way it would work is normally it's led by young women, and there's um, usually fresh grass that's spread out in a particular part of the room. And um, what they do is they take the raw coffee beans and they roast it right there, either on a pan or on a very hot skillet over fresh coals. That coffee is then roasted, it could be in the middle of a living room, in the middle of a kitchen, in the middle of a restaurant, and um, what they do is they take the freshly roasted coffee around to the group of people so you can get the aroma, because it's part of the whole process of enjoying coffee, is enjoying the very rich aroma. The coffee then is then, usually it's ground by hand using, I don't know, sort of a big stick or a piece of wood, and then it's then brewed in a, a special wooden pot that has a very long uh, stout, and it's uh, drank in very small cups. And I think that's also a big difference between the way coffee is consumed in Ethiopia versus in a lot of the Western markets, is that it's consumed in very small portions, so you don't have these big cups of coffee or drip coffee. It's something that usually you drink after a meal, after breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, you can also add, sometimes they add a very um, a special herb to the coffee as well that gives the coffee a completely different aroma and flavor. Uh, so coffee is a very important part of Ethiopian daily life. You know, I think everyone drinks coffee and it's, yeah, it's loved. Okay, uh, so Tema, talking about the importance of coffee, how important is coffee to the Ethiopian economy? Oh, very important. Ethiopia is, um, a lot of people don't know this, but it's the seventh largest coffee producer in the world. Um, and it's also very important for the local economy. I think more than 50% of the coffee that's produced uh, and roasted is consumed in Ethiopia. Um, and Ethiopia is, I think, the largest, with as a nationality, the largest consumers of coffee within Africa. So it plays a pretty significant role, not only in the daily life, but also for the economy. And you can see within the capital of Addis, there are many um, coffee companies that are popping up and they are now forming chains. So it's starting to become quite, even more, quite a commercial part of the yeah, the daily business in Ethiopia. Okay, thanks. And uh, is coffee grown everywhere in Ethiopia or there are particular regions where we can find coffee? Uh, there are, uh, well, the main, let's say, regions of coffee where the coffee is produced for um, not only export but also consumed within the country. There are four main areas. So there's Harad, which is in the eastern highlands. 
uh, Sida Monyet Gacha for which are in the south, and there's Limu, which is in the eastern Wendaka region, which is quite close to the capital of Addis. And then within these four regions of Ethiopia, that's where you have the bulk of the production of coffee. But there are parts of Ethiopia where you can also find smaller production, more local. Um, even my uh, my uncle produces uh, or grows coffee in his garden. He doesn't produce it, but he grows it. So it's it's something that's quite widespread. But the bulk of the production is in these four regions. Uh, so Tema, before we uh, finish, we've asked our friends here from Sweet Cup to uh, roast uh, some coffee. Uh, shall we go and have a look? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, what do you find in Ethiopia or something different? Well, uh, this type of machine is not something that you would find traditionally in an Ethiopian home. So for me, the roasting process is quite different. Um, so while this is, the smell of this reminds me of that roasting process, it's actually quite different to what we would traditionally do at home. Mm -hmm. 